16. Eight, eight, 16. Woo! Adds up to the day that will be remembered in the history of this state. Yep. It will be remembered as the day that Senate President Steve Sweeney has the, choice, has the choice to make up for the negligence of legislators and governors from the past 20 years, or it will be the day that Senate President Steve Sweeney adds his name to the list of legislators who have failed the citizens of this state. We're going to find leaders who lead instead of lie. Leaders who solve problems instead of making them worse. Leaders who keep their word and do the right thing right away. And I challenge every one of you to be part of that. Be part of fixing this broken political system. Be part of the solution to the problems that Steve Sweeney, quite honestly, isn't tough enough to handle. Let's be part of building the future we deserve by helping to elect the leaders that we deserve. Are you with me? chant here, remember in November, but quite honestly, that's November of 2017, so I got a substitute chant for you, judgment coming soon when we vote in June, <laughs> judgment coming soon we can create jobs and protect pensions in this state, and we will do it with strong leadership. And so I implore our Senate, I implore our Senate President to post the bill, to pass this bill, and get our economy moving again, and get our state on the right track again. And Thank you. How many of you were at that NJEA legislative conference in November? How many of you were there? How many of you heard Sweeney? Promise us that he would get the job done. Oh, yes. I heard it. I heard it. Did Senator Sweeney keep his word? No. Does he need to be held accountable? Yes. Yes, he does. Assemblyman Prieto kept his word. Our pensions are not benefits. We signed a contract with the state. This is part of our compensation. And so and after 20 years of underfunding, we realized we couldn't trust the governor, the legislature, this building behind us to fund our pensions. We tried to alter and reform that government. We proposed a constitutional amendment. We started organizing. We were looking forward to that being on the ballot this November, and we were confident it would have passed. But one man stood in the way, and that man is Senate Dictator. President Steve Sweeney. Now, I don't see that in our Constitution anywhere, that one man, the Senate President, can stand up and stifle the will of the people. If 200,000 NJEA members and countless public employees want to see this happen, we are the ones that should let that happen. As an early career member, I can recognize that the obstacles that we are currently facing are different than those that we have already overcome. But we will persevere together, as we have done, time and time again, because we are a union. We are going to speak to all of our co-workers, but we're going to speak to far more than our co-workers. We are going to knock every door in every district we need to. We are going to hold public interest teachings, and we are going to inform the public of the moral crisis that exists in New Jersey. We are here fighting for our very lives because we've given our very lives to the state of New Jersey as educators, as police, as firefighters. They are going to keep their promise. We are not going to let them violate us. So I can tell you that Steve Sweeney heard from our members via phone calls about broken promises. He heard from our members by email about broken promises. He looked outside his office windows and saw what we thought about broken promises. And I can tell you he's hearing us right here.
today and knows what we think about broken promises. So Senate President Sweeney, I say to you this, you can show us your answer by simply doing two things, and that is... Post the bill and pass the bill!